Hi, I'm Ty. You're watching Phantom 4 Pro Tutorial Series. Today I'll show you how to use narrow sensing. A new exclusive feature to the Phantom 4 Pro is narrow sensing. Narrow sensing allows you to manually adjust the sensing range of the aircraft to fly more flexible flight paths through small or narrow gaps. To do this, simply tap the menu button in the top right corner of the screen in DJI GO 4. Then in general settings, tap the remote control icon to enter remote controller settings. In remote controller settings, you'll be able to customize narrow sensing hold to either the C1 or C2 buttons on the remote controller. Now when you're approaching a narrow gap, simply hold down whichever C button you assign narrow sensing to and your aircraft will fly through with ease. Hi, I'm Ty, and welcome to the Phantom 4 Pro tutorial video series. Today I want to run through some very important tips and general advice about flying safely. Remember that when you're flying, safety must always be your top priority. As a Phantom 4 Pro pilot, it's your responsibility to be aware of your surroundings and do the necessary research to find out about the local laws of flying wherever you are. Now, if you haven't already done so, Please read the quick start and flight sections of the Phantom 4 Pro user manual. It's important that you understand some basics and take off safely from the outset. The best and safest place to unleash your new Phantom 4 Pro is in wide open spaces away from people, buildings, and official no-fly zones like airports, monuments, and tourist attractions. Before you set about flying outdoors, it's best to ask yourself these questions. Is the space free of obstacles such as trees, power lines, buildings, or areas where there might be people or animals? Is it appropriate weather for flying? If the answer is a resounding yes to both, then we're ready for takeoff. Flying is addictively fun, so remember that it's your responsibility as a pilot to maintain control of your Phantom 4 Pro at all times, even if you're using automated functions like Active Track, Tap Fly, and Draw. Always keep hands on with the controller in case you need to take immediate control during an automated flight. Maintain a line of sight with the Phantom 4 Pro at all times and be careful not to fly too far away or behind structures that will block your view. Monitor your altitude. Remember, as a drone pilot, you're now sharing airspace with full-sized commercial and other aircraft, so it's best to avoid flying over 400 feet or 120 meters above ground level. Hi, I'm Ty. You're watching Phantom 4 Pro Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to use all the intelligent features of your new DJI Phantom 4 Pro. Let's start with Active Track. To use all of the Active Track modes, first make sure your Phantom 4 Pro is in P mode and you are flying more than two meters above the ground. In this video, we'll be referring to the Master Stick mode menu in the DJI GO 4 app and using Mode 2 as our control mode. Okay. So now let's enter the Intelligent Flight Mode menu by tapping on the remote controller icon on the left-hand side and then selecting Active Track. The Phantom 4 Pro has been trained using deep learning algorithms so that it recognizes a range of subjects like people, bike riders, cars, boats, and even some animals. If you want to track something that is automatically recognized, just tap on the subject and the Phantom 4 Pro will recognize it as the target. If you want to track something that isn't recognized, drag a box around it. To ensure optimum tracking performance, fit the box around the outer edges of your subject with the least amount of background included. When you have your subject locked, and after tapping Go, the green box becomes two green square brackets with a target point in the middle. How the Phantom 4 Pro moves depends on the active track mode you select from the column of icons on the right side of the screen. In Trace, it will follow your subject, even if it moves away or changes direction, 
while avoiding obstacles automatically. If you enable backward flying in the visual navigation settings and the subject moves towards the Phantom 4 Pro, it will fly backwards. While it follows, you can fly around your subject by pushing the right control stick left or right. Another cool feature is that it can automatically circle your subject. You can adjust the speed and direction of the circling with this bar, and you can also change the height, distance, and current speed using the remote controller. The distance from the subject is set when circle mode is activated, and if the subject moves, the Phantom 4 Pro will continue circling around them, adjusting its pitch to keep them within shot. In Spotlight, your subject becomes the center of the Phantom 4 Pro's attention. No matter how you fly, as long as the Phantom 4 Pro recognizes your subject, the camera will stay on it and the course of the aircraft will be locked. In Profile, the Phantom 4 Pro will fly alongside your subject, moving in parallel at a variety of angles, shooting profile shots of the subject. It will stay at the same constant angle and distance from the side. Whichever mode you're in, you can adjust the framing of your subject using the tilt dial or by turning the Phantom 4 Pro with the yaw stick. As the Phantom 4 Pro tracks, it will constantly adapt its height to maintain the same distance from the ground, provided that the downward sensing system is operating properly. So if your subject goes uphill, for example, so will your Phantom 4 Pro. Hi, I'm Ty. You're watching Phantom 4 Pro Tutorials. Today I'll show you how to use tap fly mode. In tap fly mode, flying the Phantom 4 Pro is as easy as tapping on the screen. Make sure your Phantom 4 Pro is in P mode and you are flying at two meters above the ground or more. In this video, we'll be referring to the master stick mode menu in the DJI Go 4 app and using mode two as our control mode. Enter the Intelligent Flight Mode section of DJI GO 4 by tapping here. The Phantom 4 Pro now has three tap fly modes. For tap fly forward, simply tap the tap fly icon and you're ready. All you need to do is tap on the screen where you want the Phantom 4 Pro to fly and it'll head in that direction. Tap fly backward is the exact opposite of tap fly forward. Simply tap the screen in the opposite direction of where you want to go. In Tap Fly Free, you can now lock the forward direction of the Phantom 4 Pro without locking the camera direction in place, allowing you to turn the aircraft in the air as it flies. See? Just move the left stick on the controller left or right to pivot the Phantom as it moves automatically through the air. To change speed, you can use the speed bar on the right of the app. And if you want to go in a different direction, just tap somewhere else on the screen. While your Phantom 4 Pro is handling the flying, you can concentrate on being the camera operator and control the gimbal to get the exact shot you want. Of course, while you're flying in tap fly, the Phantom 4 Pro's front and rear obstacle sensing system is also working, so you won't need to worry about bumping into anything. A new AR route function allows you to see the aircraft's real-time flight direction as a series of green arrows on the screen. This is useful because sometimes it can be difficult to control altitude, course, speed, and camera pitch simultaneously using joysticks. Hi, I'm Ty. You're watching Phantom 4 Pro tutorial series. Today, I'll show you how to use tripod mode. The Phantom 4 Pro has a new infrared sensing system on both sides, and you can activate it in either beginner or tripod mode. Let's see how tripod mode works. First, tap the controller icon on the left-hand side of the screen in the DJI Go 4 app to enable tripod mode. You will see that the infrared sensing system has been activated. The infrared sensing system works like this. Yellow means you're nearing an obstacle, and red means you're too close and might hit something. In tripod mode, the maximum flight speed is limited to 5.6 miles per hour, or nine kilometers per hour, and the braking distance is reduced to 6.6 .6 feet, or two meters. Remember, only use tripod mode where the GPS signal is strong, 
or in light weather conditions to optimize the vision system. If a GPS signal is lost and the vision system fails to work, the aircraft will automatically switch to ADI mode. When this happens, flight speed increases and the aircraft won't hover in place, so please be extra careful when using tripod mode. Now we've gone through the Phantom 4 Pro features. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Ty. You're watching Phantom 4 Pro Tutorials. Today I'll show you how to use Terrain Follow Mode. Terrain Follow Mode uses the Phantom 4 Pro's network of sensing cameras to keep the aircraft at a set height above uneven or rolling terrain. Let's use Mode 2 as our control guide. To do this, enter the Intelligent Flight Mode menu and tap on the Terrain Follow icon. You'll then be able to choose how high you want to fly, from 3.3 feet, or 1 meter, to 33 feet, or 10 meters. This mode is designed to be used on gentle slopes within a 20 degree gradient, like grassland slopes. When you fly up gentle slopes, the Phantom 4 Pro will adjust its altitude automatically. But remember, terrain follow won't track your subject automatically, so you'll need to push the right stick forward to keep moving. When you fly down slopes, Simply pull down on the left stick and the Phantom 4 Pro will descend to the height you set. Hi, I'm Ty. You're watching Phantom 4 Pro Tutorials. Today, I'll show you how to use Gesture Mode. In Gesture Mode, you can control the Phantom 4 Pro with a simple gesture freeing you up to get the perfect aerial selfie or droney without a smartphone or controller in sight. Make sure your Phantom 4 Pro is in P mode and you are flying at 2 meters above the ground or more. Next, select Gesture Mode in DJI GO 4 when the Phantom 4 Pro is hovering and then walk into frame. After entering Gesture Mode, the Phantom 4 Pro will search for a person raising their arms above their heads striking a Y pose. Once the aircraft detects the person's Y pose, it will double blink quickly and then start to follow the detected person. When you're ready for your photo, simply use your fingers to create a box with the aircraft inside, like this. Now the aircraft is ready to take a picture. The lights under the Phantom 4 Pro's front arms will start to flash, giving you a three second countdown to strike a pose. Ready? Three, two, one. Congratulations, you're a star. Hi, I'm Ty. You're watching Phantom 4 Pro Tutorials. Today, I'll show you how to use Draw Mode. Draw is a new feature to the Phantom series and is a brand new technology for waypoint control. Draw allows you to draw a route on screen, allowing the Phantom 4 Pro to move in that direction with a steady altitude. First, make sure your Phantom 4 Pro is in P mode and the aircraft is flying at least two meters above the ground. In this video, We'll be referring to the Master Stick Mode menu in the DJI GO 4 app and using Mode 2 as our control mode. Then, set your Phantom 4 Pro at the desired altitude and select Draw in DJI GO 4. In the center of the screen, you will see a green circle with a white arrow. Tap it to activate the feature, but keep your finger held against the screen. With your finger still pressed, Simply draw the direction of flight you want your Phantom 4 Pro to fly. When you take your finger off the screen, a sidebar on the right-hand side will appear and you can select the mode and change the speed of your drawn flight path. Draw allows the pilot to focus on camera control, enabling more complex shots. Currently, there are two main draw modes, forward and free. In forward, the aircraft will follow the route you've drawn on screen maintaining a constant speed with the camera facing in the direction of flight. However, you can adjust the height of the aircraft by pushing the left stick up or down along the way. In free, the aircraft will only move along the route when instructed. In this mode, you can adjust the height of the aircraft by pushing the left stick up or down, but you can also rotate the aircraft by pushing the yaw stick left and right, giving you more camera options along your draw route. 
After you're happy with the mode and speed you've selected, simply tap Go, and the Phantom 4 Pro will fly the selected path. We're ready for takeoff. Launching your Phantom 4 Pro into the sky couldn't be easier. Let's use Mode 2 as our control guide. First, check the propellers for any scratches or damage. These may unbalance your Phantom 4 Pro, making it less easy to fly. Next, switch the propellers on by holding the control sticks down and toward the middle. The rotors will start to spin. Push the left stick up to start to ascend, or use the DJI GO 4 app to take off by swiping your finger. Once the Phantom 4 Pro is at the height you need it, release the left stick and it will hover in place. The Phantom 4 Pro is an incredibly intelligent aircraft that has five directions of obstacle sensing to see where it's flying in the front, behind, underneath, and to each side so that it stops in front of objects automatically and avoids collisions. You can land the unit manually by using the left control stick. When landing, the Phantom 4 Pro will slow down automatically when close to the ground, even if you pull the throttle all the way down. Once you're on the ground, turn off the propellers by pulling the left stick all the way down and holding for three seconds until the rotors stop. You can also use the DJI GO 4 app to perform an auto landing procedure that detects the ground for obstacles, including waterlogged patches of ground. The Phantom 4 Pro will alert you and hover at a safe height. In this case, you will need to find a safe place to land the unit manually. Congratulations, you've just completed your Phantom 4 Pro's debut flight. With practice, you'll no doubt be more confident in the air with the Phantom 4 Pro. When you're ready, you can start experimenting with the Phantom 4 Pro's different flight modes. P mode is the regular flight mode, which includes GPS and GLONASS satellite positioning, visual positioning, and obstacle sensing systems. This mode allows you to activate intelligent flight modes like tap fly, trace, spotlight, profile, circle, and draw, all of which we'll cover in more detail in another video series. S mode is sport mode and is intended for high speed maneuvers, giving the Phantom 4 Pro a top speed of 45 miles per hour or 72 kilometers per hour. With amped up agility and responsiveness, S mode is ideal for high speed shoots or getting to the location of a shot faster. Be careful though, S mode doesn't include obstacle sensing, so make sure you're speeding in wide open spaces only. A mode is attitude mode. When neither the GPS nor the vision system is available, the Phantom 4 Pro will only use its barometer for positioning to control the altitude. Practice makes perfect. So get out there and watch your confidence soar. The Phantom 4 Pro now comes with two frequency bands, 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. 2.4 gigahertz is the standard wireless frequency band and so therefore can be affected by wireless signals such as Wi-Fi, 4G cell towers, and other types of interference common in urban areas. But 5.8 GHz offers you an alternative frequency band that increases your Phantom 4 Pro's transmission reliability. When switched on, the Phantom 4 Pro will evaluate local signal levels, automatically choosing the transmission frequency with the lowest level of interference. However, should you need to, you can choose the frequency range manually. To do this, Simply open up DJI GO 4 and in the main menu select HD. Now, in image transmission settings under work frequency, select either 2.4 GHz or 5.8 GHz. There. Easy. Having the extra frequency then ensures optimum signal range and maximum video transmission so that your flying and filming are unaffected, freeing you up to concentrate on the job at hand. One other thing. In order to get the best flying experience, remember to adjust the remote controller's antennas according to the frequency you select. For example, when using 2.4 GHz, keep the antennas at an angle of 60 degrees like this, 
and when using 5.8 gigahertz, push the antennas up to 90 degrees so that they are standing upright like this. To fly the Phantom 4 Pro safely, orientation and compass calibration are extremely important. This is because the direction it faces changes how the Phantom 4 Pro responds to control inputs. So let's first familiarize ourselves with some basic flight maneuvers. Both the normal controller and the remote controller with a built-in screen have the same controls. Let's use Mode 2 as our control guide. The left stick controls altitude and yaw. Push the left stick up to go higher and pull it down to go down. Push the left stick left and right to rotate left and right. The right stick controls pitch and roll, which is essentially front, back, left, right movement. To fly forwards, push the right stick up, and to go backwards, pull it down. Push the right stick left or right to move left or right. Remember, fly slowly and steadily at first to get a feel for the controls and the Phantom 4 Pro. Well, now that we've gone through a few basic essentials, it's time to get the Phantom 4 Pro up in the air. You only need to calibrate the compass when the DJI GO 4 or status indicator prompts you to do so. Always choose an open area to carry out the following procedures. After turning on the Phantom 4 Pro, tap the aircraft status bar in the DJI GO 4 app and select Calibrate. Then follow the on-screen instructions. Hold and rotate the Phantom 4 Pro 360 degrees horizontally in a counterclockwise direction. The aircraft status indicators should remain yellow while you do this. When they turn green, horizontal calibration is complete. Next, tilt the Phantom 4 Pro downwards vertically with the camera facing the ground. Repeat the 360 degrees counterclockwise movement. The Phantom 4 Pro's indicators should flash green quickly to indicate successful calibration. Recalibrate the compass if the aircraft status indicator glows solid red. If alternate red and yellow flashes occur, you might be standing near metallic objects that are interfering with calibration. Just move away and try again. Once you've completed compass calibration, place the Phantom 4 Pro on a flat surface and wait for it to warm up for a few seconds. DJI GO 4 status bar will turn green and say, ready to go. Now, you're ready to fly. If you find that the Phantom 4 Pro's gimbal isn't level, simply go into the main menu in DJI GO 4 and select the gimbal icon in the bottom left of the screen and choose Auto Calibrate Gimbal and press OK. If that doesn't work, you can also do gimbal calibration manually by selecting Adjust Gimbal Roll in the same menu and then adjusting the level of the gimbal in the Gimbal Roll Adjustment window. To calibrate the IMU, first tap the menu and tap the aircraft icon, then go into the main controller settings. At the bottom, tap Advanced Settings and go to Sensors. Then tap Calibrate IMU. On the next screen, tap Start Calibration and simply follow the instructions. When there is a warning in the DJI GO 4 app for the vision system, you might need to calibrate it via the computer. To connect the aircraft to the computer, plug the micro USB end of the wire into the micro USB port on the Phantom 4 Pro, then Plug the other end of the wire into the regular USB port of your computer. Now, power on the aircraft. 
Next, open up DJI Assistant 2 on your computer, and when it opens, click the P4P icon. Once in the menu, click Calibration, and simply follow steps one to three in order. Follow the instructions on the screen for each step, and click Next to proceed. At the end of step three, tap Start Calibration, and you'll enter the full screen calibration window. Next, hold the aircraft with its forward vision camera facing the screen. Then, adjust the distance between the aircraft and the screen, aligning the red box with the green box until it turns blue. Hold the aircraft in position and rotate the aircraft slowly and follow the blue background until the whole background turns blue. Now, move the aircraft slowly away from the screen and adjust the distance between the aircraft and the screen to align the red box with the screen again until it turns blue. When you successfully complete these steps, you will get a notification saying forward calibration complete and a prompt to move on to the next sensor. Now, you can easily follow similar steps for the downwards and backwards sensors. DJI Assistant 2 will then start calculating. When calibration reaches 100%, you'll get a final notification saying calibration completed. Congratulations, you've just completed your aircraft's vision system calibration. The remote controller comes linked to your aircraft before it even arrives at your door. Manual linking is only required when using a new remote controller for the first time. So let's walk through the steps required to successfully link a new remote controller to your Phantom 4 Pro. First, turn on the remote controller. Next, connect your mobile device. If you are using the Phantom 4 Pro Plus remote controller with built-in screen, you don't need to do this. Now, launch the DJI GO 4 app. Next, turn on the Intelligent Flight Battery. After that, enter the DJI GO 4 app and tap on the remote controller icon. Now, tap the linking RC button, like so. When the remote controller is ready to link, the remote controller status indicator will blink blue and sound a beep, letting you know that it is searching for the aircraft's frequency. Now, locate the linking button on the side of the aircraft, which is here. Press the link button to start the linking process. The remote controller status indicator LED will display a solid green once the remote controller is successfully linked to the aircraft. A word of warning, the remote controller will unlink itself from an aircraft if a new remote controller is linked to the same aircraft. Hi, I'm Ty. In this tutorial video, we'll be showing you how to set up your new Phantom 4 Pro drone with a pre-flight checklist of all the things you need to get you in the air. Now just pause the video and take notes if you have to. It's easy, so let's get started. Now it may seem obvious, but do inspect the aircraft for any physical damage from the previous flight or during transportation. Once you've done that and everything is fine, check these items to make sure you have everything. The Phantom 4 Pro Drone. The remote controller, or dedicated Phantom 4 Pro Plus remote controller with built-in screen if you have it. An intelligent flight battery. A micro SD card if you plan on using the camera to take photos or videos. A mobile device with DJI GO 4 installed. If you are using the Phantom 4 Pro remote with a screen, a DJI GO 4 will be pre-installed. Got them? Great. Let's continue. Next, let's check your batteries to make sure they're fully charged and working properly. You check the intelligent flight battery by pressing the power button once. Check the battery in your remote by pressing its power button once. Now, check your mobile device. 
If you are using one, make sure you have enough battery for a full flight. Before we do our electronics test, let's get the aircraft physically ready for flight. Remove the warning labels from the motors after you've read the disclaimer. You can also remove the gimbal clamp now. Also, make sure your intelligent flight battery is fully installed. Now let's go on and check the electronics of your platform. First, mount your mobile device with the remote controller. Connect your USB cable. If you're using the dedicated Phantom 4 Pro controller with built-in screen, you don't need to do this. Turn on the remote by pushing the power button once, then once again, and hold. Now, unfold both antennas so they are more or less vertically extended. Like this. So now let's turn the aircraft on. Again, push the power button once, again and hold. Now when the aircraft turns on, the rear LEDs will begin cycling through flashes of red, green, and yellow. This indicates that the aircraft is doing a self-check. The gimbal and camera will also perform a self-check, turning in each direction before stabilizing. The aircraft will then go into warm-up mode, and the lights will start flashing yellow. Now. Let's launch the DJI Go 4 app to make sure you're getting an image from the camera. Okay, let's go through how to start and stop the motors. The remote controller uses a CSC, or combination stick command, to start and stop the motors. To start the motors, pull both sticks down and in. Once the motors have spun up, they will idle. Watch and listen carefully to make sure the motors are spinning smoothly and that there are no irregular sounds. If you hear any abnormal noises, shut down the motors as soon as possible and take your Phantom 4 Pro to your nearest repair center. Other than that, congratulations. The Phantom 4 Pro motor test is now complete. You can stop the motors by pulling the throttle or left stick down for three seconds, like this. Turn everything off. Start with the Phantom 4 Pro. Press the power button once, then again, and hold. Now the remote controller. Press the power button once, again, and hold. And it's off. Now we've gone through our pre-flight checklist. In our next video, we'll be learning how to fly. Thanks for watching. A firmware update is done to optimize system performance and add new functions to your Phantom 4 Pro. You can update your Phantom 4 Pro, remote controller, and remote controller with built-in screen via DJI Assistant 2 or the DJI Go 4 app. First. Install the DJI Go 4 app on your iOS or Android mobile device. The app is found in the App Store and Play Store, respectively. Now, make sure you have a steady network connection and launch DJI Go 4. Connect your mobile device to your remote controller and connect the remote to your aircraft. DJI Go 4 will automatically check for available firmware updates. If you're unable to link or update the remote controller with your aircraft, this might be because they have mismatched firmware versions. In this case, please update each device separately to the latest firmware version by using a PC and DJI Assistant 2. The software can be found on the Phantom 4 Pro product page on DJI.com. One, power on the aircraft and connect it to a computer via the USB cable. Two, Launch DJI Assistant 2 and log in with a DJI account. 3. Select Phantom 4 Pro slash Pro Plus and click Firmware Upgrade on the left. 4. Select the firmware version required. 5. DJI Assistant 2 will download and upgrade the firmware automatically. 6. Restart the aircraft after the firmware upgrade is complete. 1. 
Ensure both the aircraft and the remote controller are powered on and connected. Two, for the Phantom 4 Pro, connect the aircraft to the mobile device via the USB OTG cable. For Phantom 4 Pro Plus, connect the micro USB port of the aircraft and the remote controller with the USB OTG cable. Three, follow the on-screen instructions in the DJI GO 4 app to upgrade. Ensure the internet is available during upgrading. Four, restart the aircraft after the firmware upgrade is complete. Let's start with the first method, using the DJI GO 4 app. First, power on the remote controller and launch DJI GO 4. A prompt will appear if a new firmware upgrade is available. To start upgrading, Simply follow the on-screen instructions. Okay, now for the second method, which only applies to the Phantom 4 Pro Plus and involves using a micro SD card. First thing is to visit the official DJI website and go to the Phantom 4 Pro slash Pro Plus page. After that, download the latest firmware to your micro SD card. Now, Insert your micro SD card into the micro SD card slot of the remote controller. Next, power on the remote controller, then follow this path. System settings, about device, system update. Click local update in the top right corner. The latest firmware should show on the micro SD card correctly. Now, just click update to start upgrading. Well, that concludes our Phantom 4 Pro How to Fly tutorial series. Thanks for watching, and remember to fly safely and enjoy. Hi, I'm Ty. In this video, I'll be introducing the features found on the Phantom 4 Pro aircraft. Before we start, Read the warning labels attached to the aircraft and then remove them. These are your front LEDs. They are extremely bright and light up red when the motors are spinning. When the red lights are facing away from you, you know that the Phantom is facing forwards. These are your rear LEDs. They also serve as your aircraft status indicators. These tell you aircraft status before and during flight. Here on the right side, and on the left side are infrared sensing systems that are used for obstacle sensing when flying sideways in beginner mode and tripod mode. On the front here and on the back here are stereo vision sensors that provide long range obstacle sensing when flying forwards and backwards. On the bottom here are another pair of stereo vision sensors and two ultrasonic sensors. These work together with the forward and rear vision sensors to help the Phantom 4 Pro accurately position itself, especially indoors and in areas without GPS. This is your intelligent flight battery. It has its own processor built in to make charging and maintenance easier and to give you more accurate estimations of your remaining flight time. Here is the three axis stabilized Phantom 4 Pro camera. It can also be tilted up and down as required. The camera's micro SD card slot is here on the left hand side. A card has already been provided so you can start shooting right away. Next to it is a micro USB port which you can use to connect the Phantom 4 Pro to a computer for firmware updates and advanced calibration. You can also use this port to download images from the micro SD card straight to your computer. Here. Between the micro USB port and the micro SD card port is a button to link your remote controller with your aircraft if the two are ever unlinked. Well, that's all the main features of the Phantom 4 Pro. In the next video, we'll take a look at the controllers for the Pro and Pro Plus version. Hi, I'm Ty. In this video, we'll be opening up the Phantom 4 Pro Plus box and checking out what's inside. Unpack along with me and make sure you've got everything. If you've got a Phantom 4 Pro, don't worry. 
Everything is the same except for the controller. Remember, you can pause this video at any time so that you can unbox along with it. Let's get started. Open the outer box and pull out the gray foam hard case. Inside this case is the Phantom 4 Pro Plus. It's also a handy airline carry-on sized case, so you can bring the Phantom with you easily anytime you fly. To open the case, flip out the latch and twist it clockwise. Once unlocked, open it up. Here is the controller. As this is a Phantom 4 Pro Plus, you'll notice that this remote controller has a screen. If you prefer to use your own device or a larger tablet and are opening up a Phantom 4 Pro, the remote will look like this, which has a clamp for your device. This is the Phantom 4 Pro. Like the Phantom 4, it comes with an integrated gimbal and camera. This gimbal clamp with integrated lens cap protects the gimbal and camera during transit. Make sure you take it off before turning on the Phantom. And when you're done flying, it snaps back on in a couple of seconds. Pre-installed inside is an upgraded Intelligent Flight Battery. Next, we have the propellers. Inside this soft protective bag are two sets of four propellers. Two sets of black ringed propellers and two sets of silver ringed propellers. You'll need one set to fly, the others are your backups. This protective bag is also the same material used to clean lenses, so use it to keep your lens clear of dirt or grease. Here is the Phantom 4 Pro Charger, which charges both your intelligent flight battery and your remote controller. When it's time to do updates, you'll need the cables in this accessory pack. One USB OTG cable and a micro USB cable. In the next video, Let's take a look at the features of the Phantom 4 Pro Plus. Thanks for watching. The Big Island, the reason why I'm here is because of the people and the culture. This is Hawaii, Hawaii. This island has still got that old local feel. My name is CJ Kale and I'm a photographer. A dull, long drive out to the volcano, as tired as could be, completely down. And then all of a sudden you come up on that glow and you see that glow and you come to the edge and then you see that first drip of lava. I'm as excited when I see it today as I am the first time that I saw it. I've been flying drones for a few years now. The Phantom 4 Pro is a huge step forward with the new one inch sensor, having an actual 20 megapixel image, lower noise in my images. Now the photo is good for print. It can go on a wall. It opens up things that I couldn't do before. Composition is very, very important. Having a built-in really bright monitor so I can get set up quickly, it's really allowing me to compose my shot and get what I really want to capture. Extra dynamic range allows me to really bring out my shadows, tone down my highlights, and in the landscape, that's extremely important. I like having creative control in my photography, the ability to change my aperture, a mechanical shutter. They're gonna give you so many advantages when you're trying to do anything creative. Five-way obstacle detection is making it a lot easier for me to get the shot. The drone knowing this and being able to take active measures to stay away, it's a huge weight off of my chest when I'm photographing. I'm sometimes four-wheel driving down a road five, six, seven miles, then hiking out for another couple of miles. To be bringing a large, large drone out there to do that, it's just not feasible. But now to have this technology in a small, compact case, it's huge. At the lava, there are so many different angles. Sometimes that top view, looking down, it's an angle that you can't see anywhere else but other times it allows me to get it really, really close in the areas that it wouldn't be safe to put a human operator. Now this is something that I can fly into that dangerous area and capture an amazing image that's not possible in any other way.
What do you need for incredible aerial imaging? A brilliant camera, an aircraft you can trust, and the intelligence to make every shot cinematic. The new Phantom 4 Pro has all this and much more. The Phantom 4 Pro camera has an f2.8 aperture, mechanical shutter, and large one-inch sensor coming together to make brighter, more detailed imagery. Record cinematic 4K video at higher bit rates with more advanced compression and a wider dynamic range. 4K 60 frames per second recording gives you stunning, detailed, slow motion aerial video. The Phantom 4 Pro is as adept at stills as it is with video, capturing every detail at 20 megapixels. Its mechanical shutter eliminates rolling shutter bending. Grab the perfect moment using burst mode. All of this makes the Phantom 4 Pro the most advanced aerial camera ever found in the Phantom series. The Phantom 4 Pro is now a huge step forward. I'm taking photos of the lava when it's darker out and the glow of the lava's coming off of it. The image sensor that's in this camera now is one inch sensor, 20 megapixels. That extra dynamic range allows me to really get everything into one shot and in the landscape, that's extremely important. See your shot clearly, even in direct sunlight, with the new ultra bright 5.5 inch monitor that's more than twice as bright as most tablets. The built-in monitor on the Phantom 4 Pro is so bright, I'm actually able to see in direct sunlight, and that's really allowing me to compose my shot and get what I really want to capture. ActiveTrack has now been expanded with three new intelligent flight modes. Profile tracks your subject horizontally from any side. Spotlight locks the camera on a subject while you fly in almost any direction. Circle swings 360 degrees around the subject. Tap fly has also been improved, adding reverse tap fly, making it perfect for aerial selfies. Flying the Phantom 4 Pro is even more worry-free. A set of rear visual sensors has been added to existing forward and downward sensors. Combined with new infrared obstacle sensors on its sides, the Phantom 4 Pro has five directions of sensing. If image signal is lost, it returns home while dynamically avoiding obstacles and even flies back along its original flight path until signal is regained. Every minute in the air counts. The new high capacity battery flight time has been increased to 30 minutes. When it comes to speed, the Phantom 4 Pro is 10 miles per hour faster with full support of its obstacle sensing systems. With its stunning camera, one inch sensor, ultra bright monitor, obstacle sensing and intelligence, the Phantom 4 Pro brings professional quality aerial imaging and flight capabilities to more pilots around the world.